Hey guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Josh! USA style baby, training some arms! With my brother and I, Massive Joe's national sales manager, Steve Mills! What up? Training some arms! With the biggest natural guns we've seen thus far. Doug Miller. Not me. In the house. So I just wanted to quickly say, what you're looking at here is Doug Miller's own home personal gym. Well, you interrupt, you, you rudely interrupted me, but I was technically, I was going to say, technically, we are in Doug Miller's house. That we are, yes. <laughs> Down in the basement, you would have noticed at the start of this uh, episode of In the Gym with Team Massive Joe's USA style, we went down, we ventured down into Dougie's basement of gains. Yep. In fact, I think that's what we're going to call this gym. Doug's in the calling it Doug's personal home gym. We're going to call it Dougie's basement of gains. Well, after Doug f***ed us with this arm workout, we could almost call it his rape dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool workout, man. Giving you guys a bit of a tour of uh, of Doug's basement of gains. Uh, awesome home gym. Home gym equipped better than most 24-7 gyms over here in Australia, would you say, Nebosh? It definitely is. It Probably de equipped better than most 24-7 gyms in the US. Oh, and Doug gets it on himself. That's it. Anyway, crushing some arms, GVT style. Not too many, I just want to say, not too many gyms here in Australia go up to, like, 150 pound dumbbells. Yeah. Which is what, like 70, 65 kilos, 60 yeah. kilos? Yeah. And Doug was telling us that they aren't quite heavy enough. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. He for can, bicep curls. Yeah, for hammer curls. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this workout, pure volume workout, pure GVT, German volume training workout, we did supersets, 10 reps, times 10 sets. 10 sets of 10. That's it. So starting off with the rope cable, uh, sorry, not rope, let's go bar cable tricep push down yeah. for 10 reps, super set, as you're about to see Big Neve Vosh wander through Dougie's rape dungeon yeah. to, the bar, uh, to the dumbbell rack, pick up some dumbbells, super set with 10 reps of alternating dumbbell bicep curls. I was pointing out how Doug's at the other end of the rack than I am. Doug's, mate, Doug is in a different postcode of rack to where you are, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> Nevo's struggling with the f***ing 30 pound dumbbells, Dougie throwing up the 70s like bags of feathers. <laughs> No, I was on the kit. <laughs> this is one of these videos that I'm going to call a dill out once again. Why the f*** is Doug making us look like bitches on our own YouTube channel? I just wish I could come back as Doug's love child. It's our f video, Doug! This ain't your video! I know. Shit! Anyway, so this, we started off with this superset and uh, real simple workout you're going to see here. It was two supersets, four exercises, but with the 10 sets times 10 reps of each superset, a lot of f***ing volume. 400 reps. Yeah. And I will point out, because a lot of people, when they do GBT, when they do volume style training, we've addressed this before in our videos, Nevosh, is they drop the weight back too much. Yeah. And they focus on the volume too much and actually don't don't go to failure and, and don't lift enough weight, don't put enough force or stress through the muscles they're trying to stimulate. Oh, look at Big Neve, he's got a bit of a vein in the front. I didn't know, I should have been working for the uh, Arlington Fire Department with that hose, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> that is one of your worst, mate. That is honestly one of your worst. I'm actually speechless. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from or to from that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Textbook form, though. Yeah, the form, is, the form is tight, I must say. And here's Doug taking notes. <laughs> Note to self, do not let Steve and Joe in the basement of Gaines ever again. <laughs> What's he writing down? Note to self, looking good. <laughs> Drained biceps today. F***ing <laughs> small. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Anyway, Doug's about to make us look like little bitches and show us how to do the superset properly. And look at the triceps on Dr. Miller. Once again, not textbook form. No. But striated triceps, you can't argue. No. 
It's phenomenal. Doug's form's actually not bad on these tricep pushdowns, to be honest. A little bit of body English. Yeah, when you say not to use body English, keep your front delts out of it and keep upright. Yeah. He's not doing any of it right, is he? Mm, well... Come on, Douglas. Well, technically not. Come on, Douglas. Technically not. Marching over to the barber rack like it's his bitch. Well, he is. Technically, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and lifting that lightweight like bags of feathers, baby. Oh, arms. This, you know what? I'll be honest with you. And I'm not usually honest in these videos. No. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. Yeah. Doug pisses me off. Yeah. Because what the f*** is that? I Seriously. If I did bicep curls like that, I would have negative biceps. He's got like bi my biceps would be so small. My triceps would be my biceps. He's got like his biceps on top of biceps. And he it? just comes along, picks up the weights, bloody does halfway between a hammer curl and a supinated curl, using mainly front delt, <laughs> and the most phenomenal natty biceps we've seen thus far. What a freak! Come on, Doug. Come on, Doug. What is the what is the There's a secret that Doug is not letting us in on, and I want to know that mother. Oh, I'm telling you, it's trend balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now moving moving through to the, I believe this is the last set. This would be the tenth set of the uh, the ten by ten GVT arm training. Yeah, yeah. And usually, it, it, when we usually do, uh, th th it's an interesting way to do GVT this way as well, Nevis, because we're actually doing opposing muscle group superset. Yeah. Usually, when you do GVT, you would do, say, for example, if you were doing biceps, you might do like a stretch position of flexion bicep curl GVT superset into a contracted position of flexion bicep curl. Yeah. You don't usually superset opposing muscle groups when doing GVT. You'll pick one muscle group and go GVT on that bitch. The, the pump was crazy, though. Oh, it was phenomenal. Especially like after about five sets in. Yeah. I mean, look, look at Doug. It's turned into like a half, it's, you're right, it's turned into like half a hammer curl now. Yeah. Just, he's swinging more than f***ing he would at the local RSL on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and then we moved on to the second GBT superset. So we flipped it up here. We went overhead tricep extension, once again using the cable, once again for 10 reps, and then supersetted that with cable, easy curl, bicep curls, once again for 10 reps, man. Yeah. I, I just want to, I just want to put it out there. Yeah. You are, you've been training for many years. Yeah. You're six, six, two, six, just three. Just stop. No, 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 you don't need to, <laughs> no, no, just leave it there. You don't need to continue. <laughs> My ego is crushed enough already, but mother well, Doug has made us look like we, you and I have spent a, a, a large chunk of our life dedicated to the gym scene. Fuck this. I'm getting my notebook out <laughs> right now. Note to self, do not train arms with Doug Miller ever again. I saw sort of give up bodybuilding. <laughs> Try something else. Anyway, Doug stuck attacking it. Just repping this bitch out. This is, uh, Doug actually, he made a, fun a fundamental mistake when fitting out this home gym. Um, there's not enough weight for no, him. There's not. Well, I mean, there's not too many f enough weight at any gym. I mean, where we did... Look at this. Full stack, bicep curls, like a bag of feathers. Well, the thing was, is when we... Where, do you, go f where do you go to from that? Well, you do what he did at LA Fitness Club or whatever, LA Athletics Club. Yeah. And he sort of like, luckily it was like a four... Strap small humans to the yeah. stack. <laughs> he gets out Jackson and strap... <laughs> Straps, <laughs> straps his son in <laughs> a bit more weight. Get Jackson to stand on the weight stack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. But yeah, what he did in uh, LA is he actually um, had to put 20s on and then use the cables from all the other machines to somehow kind of hold the other 20 kilo plate in place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use the pins from the other, from the other stacks. Just to try and get a bit enough weight to put through the arms. Yeah. Holy shit, there's Doug Miller. <laughs> anyway, GBT not a, not a, not something that we would do very often. We don't. Well, you and I really, to be honest, hadn't done any of it in our per, in our own training, yeah, or any great amounts. I mean, we we did it. I was just sort of leg workout with Doug, uh, mm. leg workout with Mark, mm. and then we did it on a chest workout. We did a bit of ten by ten stuff. Mm. But this is the first time we did it with arms. It's a good way, any type of volume training, but GBT in particular, is a really good way to get a lot of work done in a short period of time. Yeah. That's the main benefit of it. Obviously, the weight you're going to be able to move is... Boom! <laughs> what the f***, 
man. Seriously. <laughs> what even are those things? I don't know. Look at, look at the fucking forearms as well. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Look at you. Yeah, You're I'm f you're crying. That was not sweat, those were tears. Yeah. And I just wanted to say, that workout took us like 45 minutes. Yeah, it was quick. And that, like I said, that's the main benefit of volume trains. You're able to get a lot of work done in a short period of time. Obviously, because of the amount of volume, not gonna be able to lift as much weight as you normally would. Not that that bothered Doug stacking yeah. it out. No. But the ability to do a lot of work in a short period of time. Anyway, finished our workout, came back upstairs to Kitchen a la Miller. Bro punched the lid in. Bro punched that bitch in and drop ourselves a couple of scoops of Core Iso. Need Vosh. Yeah. Keen viewers at home would be interested to know when Core Iso is dropping in Australia and New Zealand. When is it? March? No, earlier than that, brother. When? End of February. Well, it's about well. six weeks away in this bitch. Well, let's, let's give it the start of March. No, it's end of February. No, I'm going to say start of March. It's coming, man. And it's been well worth the wait. This shit is fucking phenomenal. Yeah. You know when it's uh, CEO of Core Nutrition was Doug Miller's go-to post-workout protein, it's going to be phenomenal. Or well, he did formulate it. Yeah. Of course it's going to be his go-to. He's not going to go get all in. Personally, I would have gone with the uh, the peanut butter toffee flavor. Yeah. Who goes plain chocolate? Doug's going with the chocolate. Well, it's gone straight to his biceps, as you can tell. Because he needs more chocolate for the biceps? <laughs> Unbelievable. Look at him. Look. Give me some chocolate, Doug. How much do you want to shake it? Stop tensing for the camera. <laughs> He's just getting that last bit of <laughs> last bit last set of GVT in where you shake the shaker a hundred times. He just had a quick scoop of Vasky before. <laughs> and while you're shaking your post workout shake, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of In the Gym with Team Massive Joe's and all the other deliciousness on our YouTube channel. Where we coming to and from? Neve. Massivejoes.com. Stay massive.